what is going on y'all we are back with another super insane pokemon unboxing video today so i have a special treat for y'all last week i got to go to melbourne australia for the 2023 pokemon vgc tcg and pokemon go oceana international tournament and holy smokes y'all it was hyped me and my buddy we bought two boxes and we opened up some packs together and for only ten dollar entry you get two packs and I have yet to open my packs, so we'll be opening those today, along with me sharing a bit about my experience, so you'll get to understand a little bit about what all the tournament had involved. And with that, we're gonna show some highlights of the two boxes that me and my buddy opened up. I don't know how my luck is this good, but we pulled some heat, yo. We pulled one of the best cards in one of the Pokemon Go sets. It just made the event that much more hype. So here's a little bit of footage. There's a bunch of tables where everyone's playing the TCG, also the video game and Pokemon Go. Also with that, if you're good enough, they'll pick you up and they'll say, hey, you're gonna go on the international stream. So here's all three stages. And then my buddy with the Dragonite V-Star box and the Regilecki box that we opened. So as always, Golden Go, take us away. Make it rain, baby. Let's get going. Okay, so starting off, y'all, first entry was $10. And for $10, you get this super sick spectator pass. Of course, it's got my two favorite evolutions, Espeon and Umbreon on it. So that's super sweet. Just wanted to show this off. Um, Eevee on the back, you can put your name on it, of course. Place to put your phone number as well if you lose it. And then you got this nice lanyard with, of course, the logo for the Pokemon Championship International. And then more evolutions as well 2023 official and then of course as said the two silver tempest packs which are pretty sweet because like these are good packs and for a ten dollar ticket here in australia a pack's ten dollars so you technically you make a little when you when you go to these things so first pack here we go there's the code card one two three four to the front Let's try to pull a Lugia, y'all. Let's try to pull a Lugia. That would be so sweet. Ah, any Lugia is what I want from these packs. That's really all that matters to me. So here we go. Electric, Palo Sand, love that Pokemon. Matang, cool art. Furosode Girl, I can't say that word. Furisode Girl, I don't know. Apologies for the mispronunciation if so. Marini, Mistrevis, Swablu, Swirlix, that's funny, that's a good one. Rotom, of course. Anorith, Reverse Hollow, and a Frostlass. Very nice, very nice. Good Gen 4 Mon right there, good Gen 4 Mon. So now we have the second Silver Tempest. Let's see if we could pull a G Dang lugia oh that'd be so amazing that would be so amazing there's a code card for y'all one two three four to the front last pack let's see if these packs were worth the money even though they were technically free <laughs> leaf energy quad stone regenerative energy unidentified fossil let's do that elgium fungus sandy gas relicam Worker and a Noivern. Dragon type, baby. Let's go. Seventh Echo, 70 damage. And you can draw cards until you have seven cards in your hand. Very nice. Very nice. Along with buying cards, you could join in to side competitions to win prizes. And for all you Pokemon Go players, there were many stops with multiple spinny wheel ordeals that you could spin for items all day. And I caught my first shiny Regirock. It was awesome. With that, it was pretty funny watching the Pokemon Go players go ham, just tap in their phones like no other. It was really fun to watch, but hey, it gets hype, yo, it gets hype. So now let's open the Dragonite V-Star box that we got. It comes with nine packs and the beautiful deck box that looks like a Premier Ball and then Dragonite V-Star Dragonite V. So for the first pack that we opened, we didn't get much, but on the fifth pack, my mate, pull something that is so darn awesome. I saw a little bit shine in the background as you can see from the video and I'm like, no way. There's no way we got something that huge. So let's see here. Larvitar, Apom, Spinarak, Rotata, Alola, of course, Wimpod, Squirtle Reverse, and we got the full art Mewtwo V 
in what looks like to be New York, I think is where it's supposed to be. Pokemon Go Mewtwo V is one of those insane cards. I can't believe we pulled it. And so I knew our luck was going well that day, very well. So I then started opening up my share of the packs that we split. Got an Ariados, Pokemon Go card, Blanche, Magikarp, Onix. I love how they all look like they're in real world, scen world with scenarios. Numel, Alolan Rattata, Raticate, and Pheasant, and a full art Slay King V. This beast, yo, this beast is always crazy. It's always crazy in the games. And so then, on my last pack as well, his last pack, he pulled something huge. My last pack right here from the Dragonite V-Star box, I pull something shiny. We got the Tranquil, the Bulbasaur, the Natu, the Aimbapalm, Slowpoke Fishing, and then a Radiant Blastoise, y'all. That purple shiny is so sick. And of course, the Glissapod. I couldn't believe it. Now here are all the highlights for all the cards that we pulled in the other packs. Didn't get much from the Crown Zenith box, which was unfortunate, but that's okay. You win some, you lose some. We still went home very, very, very happy. And so that was the highlights. With that, we got to watch some of the VGC competition as well. There's a competition in Sydney, so I'm excited to join that later this year. And here's all the code cards for y'all from all the packs that we opened. Go nuts, pause the video. Hopefully y'all get some good pulls from pulling online as well. So that's all for today.